In this video, we're going to look at the concept of Hindu solution and Henderson-Hazelbach equation. How we can use the Henderson-Hazelbach equation to calculate the pH of an acid buffer and also use the equation to calculate the pOH of a base buffer. All right, so let's begin with buffer solution. Okay, so basically, a buffer solution is a solution that can resist a change in pH when small amount of a strong acid or base is added to it. All right, so we have acid buffer. We also have base buffer. All right, so acid buffer is prepared by missing a weak acid and its salts, whereas a base buffer is prepared by missing a weak base and its salts. Okay, so those look at the and that's another by equation for calculating pH of an acid buffer. Okay, for pH of an acid buffer using Henderson Hazelbach equation, so we have it to be pH equals P K plus log the conjugate base over the acid. Alright, so this is the conjugate base whereas the POH of a base buffer using the Hezabag equation is calculated using POH equals PKB plus log the conjugate acid which is a sort here over the base right, so this is sort this is conjugate acid okay so the pka and pkb are usually given in the question you are asked to solve for each acid buffer or base buffer so for we are the pka is the negative log of ka whereas the pkb is the negative log of KB. Alright, so having known this, let's wipe them now and solve a typical problem on this so that we can understand how to apply this formula very well. Okay, so let's look at this question. It says, a buffer solution contains 0.1 more antonic acid and 0.1 more sodium acetate. If 0.02 more of sodium hydroxide is added, so we are giving the K value to be this. What is the pH of the solution before addition of sodium hydroxide? B after addition of sodium hydroxide. So let's solve for A before addition of sodium hydroxide. So it's going to be so we're going to have the pH before addition of sodium hydroxide will be pKa plus log the conjugate base, which is the salts over the acid. Alright, so we are our pKa is negative log of Ka. Uh, we are giving the Ka to be 1.8 times 10 to the power minus 5. So it's going to be negative log of 1.8 times 10 to the power minus 5. So let me point it to my calculator here. Okay, so we have it to be 4.74. If I leave it into this math, this is alright. So the pH will be input the value for the pKa, which is 4.74 plus log. Then the conjugate base, which is the salt, the concentration there, we have it to be 0 0.1 over the concentration of the acid, so also 0 0.1. So let's simplify log 0 0.1 divide, by, divide 0 0.1. Let me punch it. Okay, so I have it to be 0. Therefore, the pH before addition of sodium hydroxide will be 4.74 plus 0. Put the same thing as 4.74. Alright, so let's wipe below and solve for the pH after addition of sodium hydroxide. Okay, so the pH after addition of sodium hydroxide will be that of the conjugate base, that is the salt, we, the concentration will increase by 0.0. .0 to whereas the concentration of the acid 
we decrease by 0 0.02 all right so we're going to have ph equals bka plus log so we have the salt concentration of the salt plus 0 0.02 over the concentration of the acid minus 0 0.02 all right so when you simplify you're going to have well, let's put this in brackets okay so ph would be the pka we got it to be 4.74 all right plus log we have the salt the concentration of the salt is 0 0.1 all right plus 0 0.02 over that of the acid is 0 0.1 minus 0 0.02 Okay, so when you simplify everything here, then punch it to my calculator. So when you punch, punch everything, I'm going to have 4.916. If you want to leave it into this map, place, it will be 4.92. Alright, so this will be the pH after the addition of sodium and right? Alright, so let's wipe it and solve one more problem before we call it a class. Okay, so let's look at this problem. It says the paper solution was prepared by addition of 0 0.005 mole hydrochloric acid to a solution of 0 0.1 mole sodium acetate and 0 0.03 mole acetic acid. Calculate the pH of the solution before and after addition of hydrochloric acid. Alright, so let's begin with before. The formula pH using Anderson Hesebeck equation. So we're going to have it to be pKa right plus log the conjugate base which is salt over the acid all right so the pH will be for well, this place and they give the pK the normal you get the pKa value for this one the pK value is they give it to me 1.74 times 10 to the power minus 5 all right so i show you a pk is the negative log of ka all right so the pka will be negative log of 1.74 times 10 to the power minus 5 so let me simplify it my calculator okay so it's going to give us four point seven five nine which is approximately four point seven six if you are leaving it in two decimal places all right so this is point now let's impute the pk value here so it's going to be equals four point seven six pk plus log the salt which is the conjugal base we have the concentration to be 0 0.1 over that of the acetic acid we have it to which is something as internal acid we have it to be 0 0.03 so let me simplify this every two like a little ph will be no punch it okay so we have it to be 5.28 if i leave it into this map places so this is the ph of this buffer solution before the addition of hydrochloric acid let's wipe this now and find the ph after the addition of hydrochloric acid let's wipe below okay so the ph after the addition of hydrochloric acid 0 0.005 mole of it will be ph equals pk all right plus log this time i want the conjugate base which is salt with minus 0 0.005 mole of hydrochloric acid over the acid we then add this 0 0.005 mole to it okay now note that when the base is added you come here add it to the salts after addition and subtract it from the acid whereas when an acid is added you add it to the acid in that question and subtract it from the conjugate base in that question hope you are following you understood what i just explained 
Okay, so let's simplify pH equals so pK we, we got it to be 4.76 plus log. Alright, so the concentration of the conjugate base, which is the sodium acetate, is 0 0.1 minus 0 0.005. Alright, this is 5 over that of the acetic acid, which is the internal acid, is 0 0.03 plus 0 0.005. So let me punch everything together with my calculator here. Okay, so I have the pH value to be 5.19. If you are leaving it in two decimal places, so this this is the pH after addition of hydrochloric acid to this buffer solution. 0 0.005 mole of hydrochloric acid. So guys, this is basically how you can solve problems involving the pH and pOH of the buffer solution using Henderson Hezerbach equation and with this we have come to the end of the class hope you learned something interesting if you are new to the channel sure to subscribe for more videos like this also like share and comment on this video tell me how you feel from what you learned from this class if you seem to have any specific questions to ask feel free to be a question in the comment section below and i will be sure to give you a response that's it for this class guys thanks for watching